Apparently I'm a taxidermist. Now I'm not by anywhere near a traditional taxidermist, no. Normal taxidermist, they preserve the illusion of life, whereas I'm more interested in the reality of death. Normal taxidermists are like the photorealists of the art world, whereas I'm more an abstract painter. Taxidermists, they take the skin off an animal and dispose of the carcass. I not only take the skin off the animal, but I keep the carcasses and I make sculptures out of them. Back when I was first starting, I used to do some really, some really weird stuff. Some really weird stuff. I still do some weird stuff. But back in the day, I was at my most, I don't know what the word is, but I was really, I was really out there with what I was doing uh, in my quest, my artistic pursuits. Um, we were, we were living, at the time we were living in an old care home. Now I do property guarding, property guarding. So we look after property short term. Um, in exchange for cheap rent and this care home that we were living in had loads and loads of rooms, loads, hundreds and hundreds of empty rooms. So I was using one of these rooms for my arts research and arts practice, which basically means using it to store rotting animal carcasses. At the time I was really interested in preservation, decay, what happened to the bodies if you kind of just left them lying around. Um, so in this one room I had a pig's head on the kitchen, <laughs> kitchenette as you went in. Um, I had a couple of bits of rabbit lying around in parts of the room. I had a deer's head on the window and I had a deer carcass on the bed. I closed the door, well I turned the heating up, closed the door and left it just kind of to see what would happen to it. And I was miles away from anyone, no one would have known, it was fine, blah, 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 blah. Before that though, I remember move, I had to move a carcass, a lamb's carcass, from one side of the building to the other. I can't remember why I had to do it, uh, but I had to. So I had to pass a few different bedrooms on the way. And as I was going, these little like uh, pellets would fall out, little brown pellets. I didn't know what they were. Anyway, I told myself that I'd clean them up on my way back. Uh, which I forgot about. Anyway, two weeks later, I got a phone call from my housemate saying, Charlie, you better get back. Flymageddon has happened. I was like, what do you mean Flymageddon? And I said, Charlie, the house has exploded in flies. There are flies everywhere. You better get back here now. I kill every one of these bastards. So I got back and, you know, as predicted, flies were everywhere. I felt awful, absolutely awful for these things. And it was all my fault. Um, Another two weeks later, I got another call from my housemate saying, Charlie, get back here now as quickly as possible. Um, we've had a property inspection and the woman's had a nervous breakdown. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, He's, she's found your room. She's found your room full of rotting animals. It's like, oh my God. Uh, apparently she's seen the room, pretty much had a nervous breakdown on the spot. We're talking screaming, we're talking crying. You could say that I was unnatural, that it was unhuman. What I was doing was completely wrong and my friend was there obviously sticking up for me saying that this was priceless art and uh, you know that I'm, I'm a serious artist and this this you know this is my art practice <laughs> um, she said it had to be removed it had to be destroyed it's like no no you can't do this this is art she phoned environmental health they wouldn't even touch the stuff uh, and uh, my, my housemate appeased them, telling them that he would pack all these things up and re remove them somewhere where it was more suitable. Uh, which was just, he waited obviously for me to get back. And now uh, we just packed everything up in suitcases, put it in the bottom of the garden, and then I hired a garage to store it all in, in long term. Subsequently, obviously, I got evicted. Uh, for processing animals and then they also found my friend that was living in the bathroom and all the other naughty things that we were doing um, but I guess the moral of the story is don't store dead bodies in a property that you're supposed to be protecting <laughs>